hey guys welcome back to my tutorial my name is Lydia today I created this really simple easy to achieve look for you guys it's like um, glitter liner and normal liner it was really easy I used just two colors from my Morphe 3502 palette I also just tested out this new foundation from Lancome it's not new but it's new for me and it's I'm in the shade 10.1 so you see how much I love this foundation also in the video I kept it really simple for you guys but I included everything because um, most of you complained about me cutting out parts of my video so I included the eyebrows foundation and all that good stuff so you get to see it in this tutorial I also tested out some new techniques so you also get to see that please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel it will mean the world to me please do so before we go into the tutorial and without further ado um let's jump right into this tutorial i'm not going in with the mattifying primer today but this is a mattifier it's not a primer so it's not going to make the face so matte like that this one is from sasha and i'm just going to rub it on my nose so for my brows something i'd like to do of recent is to use concealer to define them first i don't know where i saw that but it seems easier to do so we're going to try it together today so I'm going to go in with Ellie Girl Concealer, it's in the shade Creamy Beige and there's nothing on my brows. I'm just going to brush it through with a spoonie. That's what I normally do with um, concealer when I have defined it. This is supposed to make the work easier for the person. You know like in a typical Nigerian household, me. On Christmas Day, God knows, I don't even try to even do any makeup because I'm cooking and baking, making chim chim. Chim chim. So I'm just defining. You see the way the brows already look really clean and natural already. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Lancome Tint I Love Foundation. It's in the shade 10.1. Then I'll be using my foundation brush with it before I go in with my Beauty Blender to smooth everything out. I'm still going to blend out this concealer, guys. I didn't forget about it. But it's just going to give me a guide, sort of, as to where to go with my foundation. I'm going to take, like, some pumps on my hand. And then... My only fear with this foundation when I got it, because I matched myself online, is that um, it might not be my shade, but it actually is. My face is a little bit dark because of the hyperpigmentation. Comment down below if you like my new setup, guys. I really did put in a lot of work into it. I hope, I hope I'm making you guys proud. So, can you see the coverage? Woo! I thought I, I oh my god and it doesn't feel heavy at all I thought I was going to need to wow I thought I was going to need to like color correct but that's not the case with this at all amazing see the what can you see the combination I said combination the contrast it's amazing guys wow can you see? Can you see what's happening? So now I'm blending out this concealer. Um, blending it this, blending out this also. You can still go ahead and blend out your. You see how we've not wasted any time on the brows yet, but they look quite okay to say the least. So. Just bending down a little bit, especially underneath here. I'll still go in and fill it and I hope it comes out nice. So this is me and you experimenting. I don't know. I've not done my brows like this before. So I hope it comes out nice. I just saw it and I I said let's try, you know. Let's hope. Oh. Fingers crossed, let's hope that it comes out nice. Because I really am rooting for this method. Because if it works out, bye bye to wasting time with concealer or with eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. I like to use two shades now. I'll use phone first at the outer portions 
of my eyes then I'll go in with creamy beige so fun is here so this is how it's looking so far I'm going to go ahead and bring it all these things guys I'm learning it because I just found them out and I'm trying new stuff so let's let's learn together I'm bringing it down the sides of my nose it kind of makes the nose slimmer I noticed it on um, Yuki's channel when she did the America vs Nigerian makeup challenge when she did it on this side I noticed how slim it made her her face look so I want to try new stuff when I see how good they look that's why we're doing this step bringing it all the way in here I think that's how it was please note that if you have a big forehead don't try this at home it's going to make your forehead even bigger try to contour more than highlight most people don't know this so it ends up ruining their huh. this thing that I'm doing will soon dry up and leave me with harsh lines to fight with I'm focusing on skin for this look because the eyes are so easy you won't believe how easy the eyes are for my first base of highlights I'm using this one this container is the this palette is the EA Beauty palette by the way I'm using this one it's the Kiko eyeshadow it's 208 but it's really lovely for highlights so that's what I'll be using first um, okay I'll go ahead and spray my face with rose water there's nothing just rose water so I'm going to go ahead with that now and just layer it on first it's so weird I haven't done eyebrows my goodness So for my brows, I'm going to be using this one from Hega and Essex in the shade Toffee. And I'm just going to take very little in an angle brush. So I'm going to start at the tail, draw a line, go up, draw a line and then fill in between up. I'm trying to be really careful with this line because I don't want to go in with concealer. I don't like that look of concealer over foundation. So I'm trying my best to be really careful. Oh, this looks really defined and I love it actually. I think I've gotten a brow hack for myself because brows take me forever to do. So I've gone ahead to finish up my brows off camera. And I'm going to be using this um, Morphe 3502 palette. I'm going to be using the browns just, just to play around with just maybe these two colors here. Top of the excess and just lightly. I've heard that these shadows are really pigmented. Can you see? I didn't even tap too much. Just want a crease color here. Don't worry. I'm going to bring a dramatic look out. So I'm just going to blow that out more. But let's talk about how glowy we look though. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm taking this um, tiny brush now. It's more detailed and I'm taking a darker brown. Tapping off the excess and just going into my crease. These colors are unreal. What? No. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. At least now my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette can rest. Because I think I've seen some bombers. 
transition colors here if you know me you know how much i love that palette so i think i'm seeing replications of some of the colors here and it's it's can you see that i know some of you ask so let me show you the color i'm using this color this color here it's, the light is washing it out but it's a deep brown color it's really lovely and i'm going to be doing that here also go underneath and smudge that under i know i said this look is not going to be dramatic i'm going to keep to my promise don't worry i really love how this is coming along so for i'm just going to take a little bit of the black this color this palette has a black eyeshadow guys this is quite amazing i'm just going to go in and just smoke just outside here both up and lower just see, i don't know if you can even see that black just really little smoke here and smoke here I'm giving you guys Ronkiraji vibes. She loves smoking out her lower lashes. And I love that look on her. For glitter, I'm going to be using this one from Booba Chickfield in the shade Gold Digger. It's a yellow gold and I think it's going to match well with my outfit. You can go ahead and use any color that suits you, but this is the one I've chosen to use. And I love to do this method for glitter whenever I'm applying glitter on my eyes. If you try this, you will not have um, any fallout whatsoever. I'm using Benai Glitter Glue. And I'm going to mix it into the glitter like this. I'm just going to take a few drops. I work in sessions, so... When I take a few drops, I'm just going to dot it into the glitter, drop it into the glitter. And then this brush I'm going to be using is really tiny. I'm just going to mix it in and then try to get a straight line on my eyes as much as possible. So I went ahead and finished the other eye off camera. I'm going ahead to pop on lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this as my liner. It's a liquid lipstick from Teros Cosmetics. It's brown. I already lined in, but I'm going to go ahead and line in more. This step is not entirely necessary, but I just like the ombre effect it gives. Arriba. And that's what I'm using on my lips today. You do have to give it some time to dry. But when it does dry, it's phenomenal. I don't want it to go matte, guys. I don't want it to get matte. Can you see how lovely it looks? But let's give it some time to dry down. So guys, that completes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed every single bit of it and it was easy to follow through. I'd love to see a recreation. So please tag me on Instagram if you do recreate the look or send it to me on Snapchat. I'd love to see you guys recreating. This. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will mean the world to me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.